Looking for a way to reflect, discover, and track your habits, we have created an ultimate habit tracker notion template that will allow you to go from life areas, goals, to habits. In this video, we'll be giving you a tour of our ultimate habit tracker notion template and we'll also show you how to set up recurring habits. If you find this useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. So let's dive right in. So the first thing you'll want to do when you first open up this habit tracker is just to go over each of the areas. So here we have our life areas, and these are parts of your life that are big, such as health, self-growth, creativity, relationships, and more. And we have a system where you can plan your goals through the life areas, and they will show up in the goal planner. And once you have the goal planner, we also have a habit planner that connects with the goal planner so you can plan your habits inside your goals. And then finally, we have the main habit tracker here and we'll show you how to set up recurring habits so that the habits will appear every day. And over on the left side, we have quick links so that you can easily get to each of the databases or pages that you need to get to. And then we also included some workbooks that you might want to fill out if you're trying to practice goal planning and habit tracking. So let's get started with the life areas. So as an example, we're going to take the health life area to start with. So we can just click it open and we can start reflecting on this life area. So we have a reflection sheet here that if you click plus new, you it will load up here. And it's going to show you when it was created. So you can track when you last did a life reflection on this area. And we have dedicated prompts that you can fill in. And once you fill that in, you can set your goals. So based on how you feel about this life area, you can think of some goals that you could set for it. So for example, if this is a health life area, we might want to make a goal that is to increase physical activity every day. And we could have a start date here. So let's say we're going to start today and a due date. So how long are you going to work on this goal? So we could maybe put something in April so we can track the goal until then. And you can now change the progress to in progress since we're working on this goal. So once you have that part filled in, we can return home through this button. And then we can see this goal in our goal planner and the life area. So the next thing we can do is to check our goals. So in this goal planner section, you'll see my goals, overdue, and completed goals. So when this progress goes to done, it's going to show up in the completed. And when the due date passes, you'll see it in overdue. So we're going to open up the my goals and we're gonna open this page that we just created for increasing physical activity every day. And when we open that up, you will see this template inside where you can plan your habits to meet this goal. So we recommend up to three habits per goal. So let's say that this one is going to be to walk 10,000 steps a day. So we can do 10,000 steps per day. And why do you want to do this habit? So it's important to have a strong intention when you're habit setting. So 10,000 steps a day is going to increase our physical activity daily. So it's a easy way to increase physical activity. And the other habit we want to develop is to go to the gym two times a week. So go to gym two times a week. And why we want to do that, the gym allows us to exercise in a structured environment so something like this and once you have that in here we can set our habit strategy so this is where you actually add the habits that you're planning up here so we can click plus new and let's say this one is going to be our 10,000 steps habit so you can put 10,000 steps per day and you can add a target number. So if we're going to do this until April, we might want to target around 120 days. And here it's gonna load the number of times completed based on this roll up. So we don't need to worry about this one. And when this habit is completed, you can check this off so that it can be in the completed habits. And this is manually done. And then you can add notes. So this is our habit planner. 
And then you can set up rewards for motivation. So for example, what do you want to reward yourself with for this particular habit? So we can say, for example, get new walking shoes after 30 continuous days of walking. And you can add the reward date and reward received when you're done with it. So if we click out and we go back into our habit strategy, you'll now see that we see the get new walking shoes after 30 continuous days of walking here. And then you'll want to set up the habit tracker, but this is actually only for view only. So we don't recommend adding habits through here. So you can check our instructions here, but we'll also go over this later. So don't touch this part just yet. So we're gonna click out of here and let's go ahead and add the other habit, which was to go to the gym two times a week. So we're gonna put go to gym two times a week. And if we do, let's say until April and it's two times a week, so that would be eight times per month and then times around four. So let's say that we wanna aim for 32 and we can check how many times it's been completed. Of course, you can put the exact numbers here as well when you're doing your own habit tracking. And we can set up the rewards just like we did with the 10,000 steps. And here again, this is more for view only. So we'll just leave this like this. And then next we can set up the recurring habits for the habit tracker here. So now what we need to do is to go to this blue button here and we can duplicate this to do. So we're going to click here and duplicate. And we're going to name this 10,000 steps per day. So you're going to have to do this habit planning twice, but this is for the habit tracker and that is for the habit planner. So it's important to note the difference. And we are going to change this habit so that it is the 10,000 steps per day that we just made over here. And the goal matches what we did here, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we can go back. And now what you can do is to click here and set the repeat. So we want this to repeat every day. And you can choose exactly what time it repeats per day. So for example, if we wanted to show up now, we can actually set a time so that it's one minute after. So we can actually see this happen in real, real life. So we can do 824 and make sure it starts. So we can save now. And now this recurring task is set. So at the 824 mark, it should appear here. So let's see if that happens. And now it's appeared. So we see here 10,000 steps a day and it's going to appear every day once you set something up like this. So make sure to set it up with the correct time. And let's go ahead and make another one for the go to gym twice a week. So we're going to duplicate this one as well. And we're going to name this go to gym two times a week and make sure to tag it with the correct habit we just created. And we can go back. And now we can set up the recurring for this as well. So we can click here and turn this to every week instead. And then we can choose the days of the week that we wanted to recur. So let's say that we want to go to the gym on Tuesdays and Fridays. We could set those up like this and then make sure to set up the start and the create time so that it matches your time zone and save. So now we have two recurring tasks here for your habit tracker one is 10,000 steps per day and another is to go to gym twice a week and this is going to show up two times a week as we set it up and this will show up every day so don't panic if you don't see all your habits at once but it's just going to be populated every day or every week depending on how you set it up so now let's return home and you'll notice that now the habit planner shows the habits we have here and it also shows the to do for today, which is the 10,000 steps per day. And when you're done, you can just click it off and it's going to show this completion percentage. And this completion percentage is based off of your target goal. So depending on how many you want to target here. So if it was 30, 
you will notice that it's 3%. So make sure to add the correct target here if you wanted to see it with the progress bar. And you just have to wait for the next day. And if you see this week, you'll notice all of your habits this week that have been shown up on your calendar as well as a full month calendar view like this. So this is how you can track your habits. And let's say that now you've finished your habit tracking and you're done with your goal. So you can just take this off as completed and you can take this off as completed and you'll see your completed habits over here. And if we open this up, we also have a reflection sheet here. So you can do a reflection for every habit that you completed. And you can also change this progress into done when you're done with the goal. And it's going to go to completed goals and you can open it up. And there's also a reflection sheet for that if you want to fill that in. And then... We also wanted to show you some of the quick links on the left hand side. So life area is basically showing these areas. Life area reflection is what we filled in for the health. And we have goal planner, which is this part, habit planner and habit tracker, which we went over. And for all of these, we recommend you to go through the template this way rather than through the quick links. But you can view each of these sections through the quick links. And then we have resources, which we haven't showed yet. So resources is where you can put various resources relating to goal planning and goal setting or habit tracking. So in this case, we've added Atomic Habits, which we highly recommend you to read if you're interested in developing good habits and how to actually progress in them. So if we go back, you can now see that we also have the workbooks here that you can open up and fill in. And also a resolution, reflection, and planning that you can do at any time of the year. So we showed you how to set up the habit tracker through the goal planner. So we set it up inside here in this section. But what we can do is to also add them through the habit tracker here. So we can actually go to the blue button here and you'll see that we have these two habit tracker items that we created in the previous section. But if you want to do it inside here, you can also just duplicate this one, duplicate, and this could be your 10,000 steps. And you could just tag it with the correct habit and then go back and you'll also see it like this. So then you can set up the repeat just like we did with the other one. And finally, it's also possible to add different life areas if you want to add more. So we already pre-included these, but if you want to add a new one, you can simply click plus new and it's going to load a new life area template. So you could just put a life area and we highly recommend you to add a cover photo that represents the text for this life area like we've already done inside here like this. But if you also want to show the text below, you can also do that by going to the three dots here and going to properties and then turning on name. So we hid this just so that it looks cleaner and it looks nice with the cover photos. But if you like, you can also show the name by toggling it on or off. So that's the basics of this ultimate habit tracker. We hope that this is useful for you and we'll leave the link to the template in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one.